Hi, I'm John Stern, the Executive Director of the Irvine Museum Collection at UCI, and we are currently having a show called Moods of California. It's on right now, and it will continue to February 8th. We're open Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 5. Admission is free and parking is free, so please come and visit. Uh, we have these wonderful paintings of California, uh, particularly how it looked over 100 years ago. The painting next to me here is by an artist named Granville Redmond. It's entitled Poppies and Lupin. And poppies and lupin are two very important uh, wildflowers of California. The golden ones is, is the uh, California golden poppy, which is our state and, and it becomes the symbol of our state. Redmond is an artist that was born in Philadelphia in 1875. At the age of two, he nearly died because of a scarlet fever. He recovered, but he had lost his hearing. So he was deaf and mute for the rest of his life. He was sent to a specialty school for deaf and mute students. It was in, in Fremont, California. And he learned um, how to paint there. He learned how to draw. So um, the painting shows a very, very bright scene of California. Uh, this is uh, native plants. There's the oak trees. Um, the poppies and the lupins, the beautiful mountains of California. And he was very famous for these things, but he lived in a quiet world and he preferred paintings that were much more subtle with not a lot of bright colors. That was his preference to paint very emotional, very moody paintings. But the market wanted these bright colors. So he painted these paintings really as kind of a uh, the second thing, just, just to keep his, his sales up, but he really preferred much more introspective, moody paintings. As you come in the museum, you'll see another big, beautiful, bright Granville Redmond. Again, one of the most important painters of California. He lived in Northern California until about 1917 when he came to Los Angeles to audition for the movies. And in 1917, the movies were silent. So, and he had been trained to express himself with his hands and his gestures because he was deaf and mute. So he thought he would make a great, great actor. He auditioned for Charlie Chaplin. They became very, very good friends and he shows up in several of the short movies. So interesting artist, beautiful painting, surrounded by a large exhibit of wonderful paintings. Please come in and visit us.